Hi, my name is Dino. Thanks for checking out my recipe. Check out my channel. I have got easy recipes to make. It doesn't have a whole bunch of in, uh, ingredients and it's simple to put together. Anybody can do it. Check it out. Hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and give me a comment because I would absolutely love to hear your feedback of how you liked it. Thank you. On with the video. I have got my ribs, took it out of the package, washed off, you know, gave it a rinse, and very important that you take and dry them absolutely completely. You don't want them wet because when I put it in this crock pot, you pour the sauce on, it's just gonna, you know, it's gonna run off. We want that sauce to stay on there. I've got two sauces and I'm gonna do char siu. A lot of people do barbecue. Let's do something different today, okay? This one here, I've used many a times. This one here is gonna be the one that we're gonna use today because it's thicker, real thick. I'll shoot another video of this on pork. It comes out really super good. Okay, now I've got my rack of ribs cut in, in thirds. So now lay these ribs in. They won't lay real flat. We don't want one on top, directly on top of the other one because it makes cooking time different. So try to stand them up a little bit. Get them in basically the best you can there where, where they're kind of standing up a little bit. Not, you know, kind of like that if you can see that. Now we're going to take this sauce and I'm going to take and drizzle. Start with the top because obviously it's going to go down. And see how I mean it's going on a lot thicker. I want as they're starting to cook inside this crock pot. I want that sauce to stay on that meat for a while. Okay, now that I've got them all in there, I got kind of lucky and there's a pool of sauce right here. I want to kind of get it up towards the top and I want to cover all that area. This uh, sauce is really super thick. Uh, actually a friend of mine gave me this sauce so this is really the first time that I'm using it. I've used the thinner one several times and it smells exactly the same. So we will take and turn this on and you can turn it on, turn the ribs on to four hours on high. If you've got a lot of time and you're going to work, hit it for uh, low for eight hours, but you want it on a high for four hours and uh, it'll come out as I'll show you in a bit. It'll come out really super good. Okay, ribs are done. Now the final touch. Now we're gonna take them out and you think, oh, these don't look that great. I'm telling you, we're not done yet. Okay, so I'm taking these out and I'm setting them down. They kind of bent in a different direction, but that's fine. You're going to have to sit, let them cool because otherwise you can't cut them with an electric knife. They're just too hot to hang on to. But this is about the way that I want them. Okay, now all this sauce that's on the bottom, it's real runny now don't want to, you know, there's so much flavor sitting in the bottom of this pan. You can take another jar and brush it on the ribs and give it a broil, which is what we're going to do. But I want this sauce and I'm going to take and put it in a frying pan and I'm going to put a little cornstarch and I'm going to get it really super thick while these are cooling down so I can work with them. Okay, now I took the sauce that was in the bottom of that crock pot and I've got my cornstarch and water, just a little bit, and I'm going to add this in. You don't have, you can do half of it and see, you know, if you need more. That's fine. 
let it uh, kind of bubble up, bring it up to a little bit of a boil. It takes a little bit before it gets going. We brought it up to a good simmer and this sauce is already thickening up. But I want it, I don't want it like that. I want a real I want it real thick so it when I brush it on these ribs, it'll stick on the ribs really well. And it it doesn't take long. Maybe two minutes. You know, once you get that temp up and it starts boiling away. Okay, now I'm going to tone it down and I'm going to cut up my ribs and get them ready. Okay, now I'm going to take and I'm going to cut and get my ribs all cut up. You can see there, it's just good looking. But I'll tell you what, you, if you don't have an electric knife, you, you really should have one. If I took a regular knife, it doesn't cut it as well. With it being tender, it'll kind of more rip it, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so I'll cut all these ribs up, get them ready, and then we'll go from there. Okay, now, I've got all my ribs cut. Put them all back in line. My sauce is nice and thick. You can see this. Look at that. Now, I'm going to take and pour this sauce across all of these ribs. Just load it on there. I mean, and there's actually, when I put the cornstarch in, there's quite a bit of, there's quite a bit of sauce. Now I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna get my uh, broiler going, and I'm gonna broil them until they're just, you know, how, how you want your ribs to look. Got the ribs all lined up, and I'm putting it in the oven, and broiling it, and it takes five, eight, ten. Keep an eye on it, don't walk away from it. Keep an eye on it until it gets to that, all that sauce is tacky and sticking onto the ribs. Okay, I have watched them, and I think they are set and ready to go. If I went any longer, then you're gonna lose a little bit of the juice part. Let's take one out, and they are tender. And they are cooking, they're nice. Now these are, you, you bite it off the bone, they're tender. If you want to where you just pull the bone out, some people like it that way, and then you just cut them with a fork and eat them let it go for another hour in your crock pot. But now these ribs, I bought, actually I bought these at Winco. They're Hormel, and they're not really top of the line ribs. I mean, if you look at the price, they're only $9.52. Now when I get done with this finished product and I mount them all up and show you, I mean, for nine dollars, ten dollars, they're looking pretty darn good. Okay, here we go. There they are. I mean, they look great. If you broil them too much, you still want it a little bit saucy. And they're just, and they're gonna have a great sweet taste. That's what char siu is. All ready to go. Give it a shot. Let me know your comments.